Elbow pain causes and treatment. Lateral elbow pain, anatomy of the lateral side, you can see the humerus, the radius, the ulna is in the medial side. The proximal end of the ulna is called olecranon. The lateral epicondyle provide attachment to the extensor muscles of the rest. These are the muscles that are responsible for extension of the rest. Tennis elbow, we call it lateral epicondylitis, due to injury of the extensor carpi radialis brevis. It's an inflammation, soreness, or pain at the outer side of the elbow. The injury usually seen in patients who perform manual labor or sports that require twisting and extension of the wrist against resistance. There is pain with resisted wrist extension. All that occurs from degeneration, irritation, tears, and pain of the extensor tendons. Differential diagnosis. Radial tunnel syndrome. The pain of the radial tunnel syndrome is very similar in location to the symptoms of the tennis elbow. It is on the outer side of the elbow. The pain of the radial tunnel syndrome is usually distal to the lateral epicondyle and radiates down the forearm. If the symptoms of tennis elbow are not going away with treatment, please check for the possibility of radial tunnel syndrome. Treatment includes variety of options, ice, elbow pad, decreased activity, physiotherapy, eccentric exercises, injection, steroids, or PRP. I like PRP in this area. Surgery is the last resort. Anterior elbow pain, biceps tendon rupture. The biceps muscle insert into the radial tuberosity below the elbow. The biceps is an important muscle, helps in elbow flexion and in supination of the forearm. The biceps tendon rupture distally, the muscle retract up. There is pain and bruising and the swelling located in front of the elbow. Injury is found in patients who perform manual labor and bodybuilders, etc. The rupture may cause the muscle to retract proximally, sometimes causing the Popeye muscle. The rupture affects 40% of the supination of the forearm and the tendon needs to be reattached to the tuberosity of the radius. Elbow arthritis. It occurs due to loss of cartilage and joint degeneration with loss of the joint space. The patient has global pain, stiffness, and loss of motion. This condition has many names, but it's called usually osteoarthritis. Treatment includes non injection, therapy, and rarely surgery. Medial elbow pain. In the medial side, you find the medial epicondyle, the ulnar nerve, and the ulnar collateral ligament. Also, you find the flexor muscle group. The flexors are responsible for flexion of the wrist. Golfer's elbow, we call it medial epicondylitis. It occurs due to injury and degeneration of the flexor muscle group. The golfer's elbow is an inflammation or soreness or severe pain on the inside of the elbow. This pain occurs due to overuse or overload activities. It's aggravated by movement of the rest. Treatment of medial epicondylitis includes ice, physiotherapy, decreased activity, 
eccentric exercises, injections, I like PRP, surgery at the last resort. Cubital tunnel syndrome is a condition due to compression of the ulnar nerve near the elbow, result in pain, swelling, and weakness and numbness of the hand. This problem occurs when the ulnar nerve is compressed around the elbow as it passes through the cubital tunnel. Treatment. Conservative treatment first, then surgery if conservative treatment fails. Ulnar collateral ligament injury. This injury occurs in throwing sports such as baseball as seen in pitching. It can lead to chronic pain and valgus instability which can be very disabling. This is an example of valgus instability of the elbow. Treatment includes stop throwing, physiotherapy, evaluate with x-rays or MRI. The injury may need reconstruction, which is usually successful, but it takes a long time to restore the function of the elbow. Posterior elbow pain. You can see the triceps muscle is attached to the olecranon. Posterior impingement syndrome. It is a valgus extension overload. Valgus and extension overload result in injury of the posterior part of the elbow. The athlete will present with posterior elbow pain that worsen when the elbow is extended with loss of velocity and control. The athlete may experience catching, locking, clicking, and the stiffness. With repeated forced extension of the elbow, the tip of the olecranon is jammed into the fossa at the back of the elbow, causing irritation, inflammation, cartilage injury, loose fragment, and bony spurs. Treatment, usually conservative and rarely surgery. Olecranon bursitis. It is inflammation of a small sac of fluid located at the tip of the elbow. This bursa becomes irritated and inflamed with repeated motion of the elbow. Treatment, usually conservative and rarely surgery. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.